I mean, it's so cheap. Like once you get the duels, it's like everything costs like between a dime and a dollar. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. piece of cake. Do you do the, uh, do you do unless the, you're, unless you're like me and you're trying to find a uh, bizarre Baghdad that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Oh, you're trying to pimp things out. I got you. Well, well it's, not it's, school, it's not actually... necessarily. It's not I, I I almost always buy the uh, lowest common denominator for cards, price wise. But with something like that, uh, you don't have another option. You either want to play it or you don't. Right. It's never been reprinted. So right. Like exactly. Like I usually go for lower cost reprints. So do you do you have the do you have power or do you yeah. do a collector's edition? Uh, I've got a mix. I'm, yeah, I'm, up, I'm upgrading my CE power <laughs> as a, completely flying in the face of what I just said. I am upgrading my mocks, and uh, that's a, a year-long project. So uh, nice. I've got a, I've got two. I've got a real pearl and a, well, I say real, but I've got an unlimited pearl and jet, and then uh, sapphire, uh, emerald, and ruby are CE ones. So which cool. are totally fit for Skype play or like the, the play group that I play in person with. But, yeah, I've, I've got a collector's edition, so that lets me do the old school stuff. And I, yep. don't, I don't know. My, my collector bone uh, wanted me to complete a project of putting together the unlimiteds, but I don't really need them, but it's just kind of a vanity thing. You know, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, it, it seems like it'd be fun to do and like, I like collecting this kind of stuff. And so I think one of these years I might bite the bullet and go for it. And you can always sell it if you get tired of it or just want to trade back down or. Right. I mean, that stuff is basically fungible if you price it right. Got any advice on uh, picking it up and making sure you have like authentic copies? Like I'm terrified of fraud. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously if you buy through like eBay or something, you have protection there. Or PayPal, you have protection there. Just your general consumer protection. True. Um, I got a soul ring that was suspect, and I just said, "Hey, dude, I don't think this is real. I'm just sending it back, and I just got my money back." All right. And you know, it was no. You know, maybe the dude. You know, who knows? I, you can. Ne you never know what. It could have been an accident. It could have been a scam. Whatever. But you know, that's the nice thing about using eBay and PayPal. Um, from the buyer side, the seller side, the fees get you. Uh, otherwise, just like uh, I've got a local guy that's selling some power, so it's like you know nothing can beat going and seeing it in person. You know. Yeah, I think uh, I think I may need to do that. I'm, I'm or, like, or like here. Yeah, <laughs> or, no, I understand. Find, like super reputable people. Like I've noticed that like you know there's some really like well-known players that sell on the high-end group or people yep. that own stores and just sell on the high-end group, group anyway. Yep, yep, yep. So I've been kind of lurking there a little bit. And like, uh, there are, yeah, all kinds of dealers. Yeah, like a Daniel Chang kind of guy. Or there's other guys too that, that do more like just the Facebook trades than the actual like running a store trades. Mm -hmm. or, uh, isn't Star City out there? On the in your yeah, Star City is pretty close, but I mean they're expensive. Like they are, I yeah. I don't think I want to pay top dealer dollar, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I guess I I, I want to have my cake and eat it too. I want something that's cheap <laughs> and but still a good reputation. But I guess you got to yeah. pay for the reputation. Yeah. So that's that's how it works. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, do you have uh, what do you have? Die twenties there. You want to roll? High roll goes first, or high roll chooses sure. goes. I goes first. Sure, I got eleven. I have sixteen. All right. I'm gonna do one last table shuffle. I had everything. I had all my lands clumped. So uh, sure. I'm just gonna cut and draw here, and I'll play first. Okay. And you got some card advantage. I'm gonna mold before you even finish shuffling. Oh boy. I like the way this is going. <laughs> Advanced. Already. <laughs> All right. So when you told me to give me 20 minutes, did you mean that like you were at work and you actually went home? Uh, yeah. 
Nice. That's so great. Yeah, I was in the middle of something, and I was I just ripped off for an early lunch, and we'll do the games, and I'll go back. <laughs> cool. It's no sweat. I'm going to keep. I, I accidentally drew seven, but I'll just use that as just like put the, my, put the top one as my scry. Yeah, yep, that's cool. I'm really sorry about that. Don't worry. Uh, I'll keep I'll keep this. Okay. Uh, Temple, go ahead. Swamp. Tap. Initiate ebb in hand. Nice. And pass. Uh, Savannah Lion, go ahead. Yep. Attack. Hi, team. That's a massive dice there. Yeah, yeah, they're good for webcam. <laughs> I'll make an Erd Raider. Nice. Okay. And I'll pass to you. Going to Swords the Erd Raider. Uh, I'm on then, 22. Uh, swing for two. I'm on 20. And then play Hila Pile. Yep. Go ahead. Hila Pile does two damage, right? Yep. One and tap for two. Gotcha. Swing for one. 18. I'll make a willow the wisp and I'll pass. Swing. I'll, uh, I'll take it and go to 18. Okay. After combat, I'm going to do that and sack the temple for two blue for a Sarah Angel. Yep. Go ahead. Hmm. The plot thickens over here. Well, I'm going to miss my second land drop in a row. That's an unfortunate circumstance. That hurts, but I'm, I'm guessing you got a lot of low cost to stay in the yeah. game. Yeah, if I'd had my third one, I'd be rocking. As it is, I'm just stuck here. Pass. Well, there's not much going on with me either. Oh, attack with the Sarah. I'll block and regen. Yep. And uh, go ahead. Drop. There you go. There we go. I'll do a hint to Turok. Ouch. Um, in response, I will <laughs> slate of mind your initiates to produce white mana. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Better than nothing. Yeah. Um, and I'm I'm done. F. Uh, I'll I'll pass after that. Okay. Um, let's see. 
I'll attack with the Sarah. Block and regenerate. All right. I'll kill it again. Yeah. And uh, go ahead. Sorry, just thinking a little bit here. Yeah, that's what. I'll make a bad moon. All right. I'll put an unholy on my initiate. So he's a four three. Yep, and I'll uh, yeah two two yeah four three, and I'll come at ya. I'll take the four. Okay. 14. And I'll pass. Planes and attack. I'm on 12. Yep. How many cards do you have? I have four in hand. Okay. Go ahead. Check that. Uh, I'll swing with the dude. Take it. So you're on 10 to my 12. Mm -hmm. And I'll make another Willy Wisp, who's now a 1 2. Sure. And I'll pass. Uh. Attack with Sarah. Block and regenerate. All right, go ahead. Mind twist for two. Planes, planes. Mm. Swing with the dude at. I'll we'll take four. Down to six. Pass. A little swing. Block and regenerate. Which one? Uh, block the Sarah. And then I'll take two and go down to 10. Gotcha. All right, go ahead. I will swing for four. I'm going to actually block it. I will make an order of Ivan Hand. That's a good card. He's way good right now. <laughs> and then I'll make another Willy Wisp. Cool. And I'll pass. And I'm hoping you don't have Wrath of God. Nope. That's that's game. Sweet. <laughs> good game. The old initiate of the Evan Hand. Now that's doing a lot of good work right there, David. No kidding. <laughs> uh, unholy strength is sneaky good. You, you hemmed is, my uh, you hemmed my control magic. That would have been nice too. Yeah. Yeah. Lo and behold, it was a bad mood and unholy strength initiative of the Evan Hand that was the difference maker. Well, now we get to have a sideboard hate contest. Yeah. 
Yeah, I actually have some stuff that is relevant. Let's see what I can do here. I mean, black versus white. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of relevant stuff here. Yeah. How's your how's your deck been doing in the in the tournament? Uh, not very well. It seems, um, like, seems like that aggro style would do pretty pretty well. Like what what seems to be going wrong? Um. Well, it's been doing a little bit better since I've gotten more reps with it, so that helps. Uh, just getting used to playing it, but I think bog bog amp sucks. I don't know. Did I even play one in this? I don't think I played one in that match, but like Bog Imp is horrible. Uh, Initiates of the Ebon Hand is a pretty weak one drop. Um, I have no removal of any kind. <laughs> so, you know, it's like uh, anything that it's just, well, you know, it's just tough. I, I could yeah. drop in, like I was, I could drop in discs, but that would, that kind of violates the whole sly aggro ethos of it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just okay. It's just suboptimal. It's kind of, it's flavorful with the mono black small critters though. Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, the, I, like Urge Raiders is very underplayed if you ask me. I mean, it's got to be one of the best two drops in old school type two at least. Like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> two mana for a two three, like that's, that's a yeah. curve for sure. Yeah, it's decent, but you can't block. I mean, you know, he can, you can, uh, he'll pay you if, if he's if blocking. You're, blocking. you're in trouble, though. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, ju oh. just in our game right there, I didn't think I was going to be able to turn the corner. I got lucky uh, when you, that, that I drew into that Willow Wisp. Like, that's, a, it's kind of a defensive card, but it lets me stabilize. Well, and if all of a sudden you get two blad, two bad moons and an unholy strength, those Willow Wisps get good. Yep. Yeah, they can get big and angry. All right. I'll play first and okay. we'll try again. I'll keep this one. Let's put it this way. I, I've seen a lot of uh, earthquake and balance. Yeah. And that's just like game over. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep. Because, uh, I mean, an aggro deck like that wants to overextend. <laughs> yep. And then, uh, uh, go ahead. Wisp and pass. White Knight, go ahead. Cool. Order and pass. I'll swing for two. I can't even block and right. No. Pro right. pro black. So yeah, that's right. They just don't see each other. Yeah. Knights versus knights. I'm on eighteen. 
I got the freaks though too. Ooh, nice. Go ahead. I'm going to tear that guy. Okay. And swing two. All right, 18. And I'll pass it to you. We'll attack for two. 16. Race is on. I guess better late than never on the soul ring, Sarah. Oh, nice. And uh, go ahead. Order. Okay. Swing two. 16. And I'll pass. Attack, attack. Um, block with Willie, uh, block Sarah Angel with Willie and take two off the night. Okay. Then after combat, I'll play in Eva Pile. Second. Uh, finish off the list. Yep. Uh, go ahead. Bad moon. Okay. Swing for six. I'll uh, disenchant the bad moon. God damn it. So I'll take four. I think that's the game. Might be. That was the game. All right, pass. Uh, make another initiate. Okay. I'll swing for six. Uh, your turn. Actually, I think Alo Pile was the MVP. Does some work against that. Also gives me an oh. out against your pro black guys. I top decked Willow Wisp though. <laughs> that nice. bought me bought me a little bit of time, hopefully. <laughs> um, and then I want to try to protect him, so I'm gonna him to Turok. In response, I'll swords him. Yep, there well, it is. And then I discard a planes. Yep. There's six. All right. God All right. damn it, that was so close. That was a good top deck right there. So what, are, what are we at? Six to eight? Yep. You got me by one turn, I think. Uh oh. Swing. And then I'll control magic one of your uh, other yep. hand guys. Yeah. Okay. He's tapped. He's tapped though right now. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, uh, that's the game. Okay. Shucks, that was close. That was very close. One turn either way. I was holding a gloom basically the whole time, and I could never stabilize to cast it. Holding a what? A gloom. Oh, gloom. Which would have, yeah, but I could never stabilize it to get it out. Yeah, because that, I mean, it costs you a turn and then a race. That's that's a yeah. lot. Yeah. I mean, that being said, if I would have just taken one pounding, one turn from Sarah, I think I could have gotten it out and come back to win. But at that point, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was a good race. <laughs> I'm going to sideboard again. Changing my mind about something. 
I thought I had it with the two order and uh, bad moon. Yeah, I mean, two order, especially pumping those things, like that can yep. get out of hand in a hurry. That was unfortunate for me. Well, Again, it's the lack of, it's just the lack of sources in this deck. It's so tight on a curve. You know, ultimately, I think that's what I'm going to say is the big problem with this. It's so wound down tight on the mana and the curve that it can barely ever do anything except for cast creatures. You know, and it's like if I, once I get to about turn six or seven, my land drops are just missing. I can cast all my creatures, but I can't pump things. I can't use tricks. Yeah, it's, it's hard like to you get. Gotta you got to find some way to tempo things out. Yeah. Like, like do something and cast a creature. Do something, then cast a creature. That's right. That's right. And like soul ring, soul, soul ring doesn't do me a whole lot of good because everything about, is black. What about splash and red or splash and blue or something? Well, that's a different deck though. I mean, you could do like four Badlands and six mountains and then play like bolts and fireballs or something. I don't know. Ideal. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, but it's not a black weenie deck at that point. True. But yeah, I mean, that's one. Yeah. You just like the black weenie concept, you know, I'm just thinking of like ways to speed it up with given our, given the deck building restrictions. It's like, yeah. I, you know, maybe in hindsight, sure. maybe like two or three dark rituals would have been nice. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no mana fixing. Like that's hard thing for splashing stuff too. It's like you gotta kind of yeah. commit to the color. Yeah, you just need jewels. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I think maybe if I had had a couple of uh, dark rituals, it would have helped me power out a few things. That's true. Yeah, if you could have ritualed out a gloom and played an order on a turn, like yeah. that's that's tough. Yeah, exactly. Because I think. Um, in this deck, they're still kind of relevant mid-game. It's just like, yeah, I, I was really committed to this sly uh, design, and it it's just kind of fading. It, it fades a little bit too much mid-game. Hmm. And it doesn't ramp out fast enough to win fast enough. So it, it gets to the mid-game and struggles. Yeah. All right, three, six, seven... I will keep this. I will keep as well. All right. Best of luck. You too. Swamp and initiate and pass. All right. Tundra, go ahead. Draw swing one. 19. And swamp, tap, tap, black knight and pass. Go ahead. Uh, do uh, White Knight and pass. Draw him. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, give me two and five. Two and five. Yep. Northern Paladin and Elipile. <laughs> uh, uh, Paladin would have been nice. Yeah. I'm kind of, I, I, I'm not sorry to see him go, but I'm bummed I didn't get to see him on the battlefield just for nostalgia. Oh, totally. Um, I'll swing two. Uh, 17. Yep. And pass. Wait. Island. I'll play Ela Pile and uh, go ahead. I'll pass. Make an order. Okay. 
Swing two. Uh, I'll kill it. And a pass. Go ahead. I'll swing. I'll play Slate of Mind and change your protection from black to protection from red and then block. I'll pump and first strike. It's still got pro black. Oh, duh. Yeah, you, can, you can take that back. I don't care. Yeah, brain part, brain part. I my brain uh, miscalculated on that. Okay, yeah. So he's he beefs it. Yep. Um, and then I'll make a willy wisp, and I'll make a royal assassin. All right. And I'm out of cards. I pass. Slight of mind. Darn right. I cited it out thinking, why would I ever need to change protection from black? And then I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, I can yeah, change, yeah. Change your pro white. Uh, I'm going to sit tight. Okay. I think you're in the driver's seat, so it's okay. Yeah, I, I think uh, as long as I can avoid dying. What, what is that? Uh, it's the shitty ball again. Oh, gotcha. Just a yeah, little off. It, it's just a little off the screen there. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Get everything. See, like I, every time I see this card, I hate it seeing it. It doesn't matter if it's in my opening seven or turn five or whatever. Yeah. Play Island and go ahead. Swing one. 16. 16 turns to go. Pass. That's a clock. <laughs> Drip. Yep. <laughs> Sir, did. Yep. And I'll attack with the knight. For two. Um, I can't Go do back. anything about it. Royal Assassin can't blow him up, can he? Nope, can't be targeted. Like uh, I, yeah. I don't think I don't think there's anything that in this card pool that black can do against it. Yeah. I think you have to have a disc or an ELA pile or something. Yeah, I'm on eight okay, I'm on eighteen. Okay, go ahead. Um, make another willow wisp, okay. and I'll pass. Clock in another way. I'm at fifteen. Yeah, but I basically have to top deck a bad moon to have a shot here. I'll attack for two. 16. Go ahead. And here comes all my lands. Pass. 14. Got a couple myself. Two more. 14. 14. I'll put it unholy on one of my wisps. Okay. And I'll pass. So he's uh two two? Yep. Thirteen. <laughs> ah, that's a lot of lands. Swing for two. Twelve. Go ahead. Initiates. Mm -hmm. I'll swing with everything, and 
and I'll keep him up. Yep, yep. I just realized that after I set it down. <laughs> I'm not sure I would have got that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I was, as I was doing that, I was thinking about the willow or concentrating on that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, I'm gonna block the imp. Okay. Then swords the willow. So you gain two and then I take two. So 14, 11. And I'm done after that. All right. I'm at 10. That would have been a lot sweeter with a bad moon, but oh well. I'm going to control magic the willow. Yep. Then I'm going to control magic the assassin. That's game. Okay. <laughs> uh. You know what's weird is I ran four of Hippo and I didn't see a single one in that yeah, whole series. I didn't see any of them from you, yeah. They're all in there, buried. No, oh, well. I, I had a uh, good old exorcist in the sideboard, too. Oh, man. <laughs> That's tasty. I love all those old janky dark cards. Oh, and then uh, my super tech sideboard against mono black. Wall of air. <laughs> man, you were like balls, balls deep in black hate over there. Well, I mean, half of it's accidental just because of the night, but then, yeah. yeah. Well, and I also have slate, so I can, you know, change the color yeah. of the color hate, too. That's foul. That's a, that was a nut cutter. Yeah, sorry, man. No, that's all right. If I'm losing the slate of mind, it's uh, maybe not a good day, but certainly a weird day. <laughs> and then let's see. So I actually had... Uh, I, I took out my Savannah Lions, and I also had four balances in there. Oh, man, yeah. But I, I actually took the balances out because, like, I don't know. I, I feel like I needed more action on the ground. Well. And, like, and like I'm going to have my own knights, and so I don't want you to play my knights and then let you keep your knights, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Balances. Four balance is rough, David. I don't know about that one. <laughs> well, they've been, they're like one of the worst cards in my deck. Like, I wish I hadn't put them in. If I redid my deck, I'd have taken them all out. One one or two. No, I think the <sighs> yeah, I, mine this, are much better. This mono black, though, it, it's just a little bit like it needed a couple, a couple more fatties. And just a little bit of ramp. I think I would have take out the four imps for sure. Toss in a couple of vampires or something. Uh, a couple of rituals maybe just to speed it up a little bit. I don't know. Hypnotic Spectre? It's not really a... I've got four hippies in here I already. I, it's them. weird. I didn't see a single one. Huh. Maybe like run three hippies, three vampires or two vampires. What about Juggernaut? <laughs> Uh, well, I had him ready to go in this deck. I specifically left him out because I wanted everything to work off Bad Moon. And then realizing that that's not a good strategy, I came to regret the decision. But yeah, Bad Moon, or uh, Juggernaut would have been okay. So this is, this is all the fun uh, sideboard stuff I had against you. Preacher, Karma. Karma. Exorcist, another control of magic, Wall of Air, Disenchant, yeah. Helopile, and Paladin. Yeah, but I just for my sideboard, I didn't know what the hell I was going to put in, so I just have a bunch of blue glass and then singletons. Yeah, I've got. I I just ran tears, assassins, and glooms, or from out of the board. Gotcha. Yeah, terror. Terror's a good removal. Yeah, I only saw one. That's a bummer. 
Oh, well. Uh, well, I'm going to peace out. I got work to do. Yeah, same I will time on my work day. I need to get back to it. Okay. Have a nice and, day. And uh, get a hold of me sometime if you want to do uh, just some regular 9394 or Highlander 9394 yeah, or whatever. Okay. Okay. Cool, okay. Bye-bye. Catch you later. Okay, bye. See.